Hello everyone. Before I start, I would like to ask to take a look at the things that are around us. Well, they probably be water bottle, phone case, food container, or even chair. Do you know what is similar about all of the things that I have mentioned previously? Yes, they are made of plastics. But first, do you know what is plastic? According to Britannica Encyclopedia, plastic is defined as a polymer product that can be molded or shaped usually by giving it heat or pressure. Globally, there are about 300 million tons of plastics are produced each year, with 42% of it are used for the packaging purpose, building and construction, and the remaining are used for consumer products transportation and are used to make components for electric and electronic device. Plastic played a major role in our daily life based on how convenient it was. This is due to its flexible, durable, lightweight and low-cost production properties that cause plastic to be used in a wide field in our daily life. In addition, it is also known that Plastics are sustainable as it takes up to 1,000 years to decompose. Most of the plastic waste are not disposed in a proper way, causing 79% of the plastic waste to settle down at the landfills or even worse, have caused pollution to our environment. Therefore, as a responsible and wise citizen, we can value plastics by practicing for R, which are reuse, recycle, repurpose, and reinvent. A lack of awareness and responsibility has all added up to polluted land and sea. From a lack of consideration of the environment in the way we manage waste to mass producing throwaway items to keep up with demand. Thankfully, things are changing and understanding the importance of the four R's can certainly help us inform our choices. The four R's stand for reuse, repurpose, recycle, and reinvent. The first R is reuse. It is the act of taking all items that you might consider throwing away and finding a new use for them. Single-use plastic have created a throwaway culture by normalizing consumer behavior of using materials once and then throwing them away. The rate at which we consume plastics has become unimaginable and the plastic crisis has become one of the world's greatest environmental challenges. So, in an effort to reduce waste, we can reuse items instead of buying new ones. For example, we can use a milk jug to water plants. We also can save peanut jars and then use them to store snacks. It's important for us to reuse plastics as it can, re it can help reduce the footprint of plastic on dump sites across the, across the globe. By reusing the plastic, we can also protect the animals and prevent them from consuming plastic. Step 4. Repurpose. For every item that can be refused, reduced or reused, try repurposing it. What actually is repurpose mean? Many people in the green community refer to this method as upcycling. The idea of repurposing involves taking items that were meant for one purpose but can be used for other ones. Here are a few of our favorite ways to repurpose items commonly thrown away that could be used for another job. Firstly, you can make a DIY phone charging station. Use an old plastic bottle to make a caddy for your cell phone and never worry about where to charge your phone again. Next, T-shirt. In fact, there is approximately 13 million tons of clothing sitting on America's landfills today. You can repurpose this item to use around your home so that you can be sure they are staying out of landfills and being put to good use. One way to repurpose an old t-shirt is to cut it into squares and use it as a baby wipes or, or as a handkerchief. 
The benefits of repurposing items that you use in your house on a day-to-day -day basis go far beyond just saving your money. When you repurpose household items, you are also helping to preserve the environment in a variety of ways. This is how simply repurposing items that you use at your home can have a big impact on the health of the planet. Firstly, repurposing item helps to prevent the use of new and finite raw materials. When you repurpose items in your home, you are reducing the number of new items that have to be made by different suppliers. Secondly, repurposing items helps to save energy. As you continue to repurpose multiple items in your home, you are really helping to reduce the use of these finite resources, thus helping to preserve these precious materials and the health and future of the planet as a whole. Last but definitely not least, recycle. Once you've gone through all the other R's, recycling is the most environmentally friendly waste disposal method. It is estimated that up to 75% of all the waste can be recycled or repurposed, a figure that how impactful the process can be if done right. So what is recycling? Recycling is the process of separating, collecting and manufacturing or converting use or waste products into new materials. Here are the examples of products from recycling. Firstly, products made from recycled magazines are paper board and newspaper. Recycled magazines are important in recycling process as their high clay content is used to remove inks from paper before it is made into new paper products. Secondly, products made from recycled steel or tin cans are bike parts and car parts. Tin cans are actually steel cans coated in a thin layer of tin. The tin and steel are separated during the recycling process. Recycling reduces the need to grow, harvest or extract new raw materials from the earth that in turn reduces the harmful disruption and damage being done into the natural world, which means fewer forests cut down, rivers diverted, wild animals harm or displaced, and less pollution. The world's natural resources are finite, and some are in very short supply. Therefore, it is important to recycle and help sustain the environment for future generations. Lastly, I will be explaining about the last R, which stands for reinvent. By general definition, reinvent means to change something so much that it appears to be entirely new. In short, reinvent is an act or an instance of replacing a product with an entirely new version. But first, why must we reinvent plastic? Well, actually, by reinventing plastic, we can help to stop plastic pollution and clean up our planet, plus utilize the waste material. As an example, plastic can be reinvented or in other words, remade into new things such as carpet or backpacks. As of 2014, the Earth Policy Institute estimated a trillion single-use plastic bags are used every year, nearly 2 million per minute. A plastic bag takes 400 to 1,000 years to break down in a landfill. The issues on plastic waste are rapidly expanding through everyday consumption. As a response to this environmental issue, Georgette Mundares, a plastic bag artist, uses it as his medium of his artworks. It started in 2007. His advocacy was to reach out people through his artwork and also helping the community to reduce, reuse, and recycle. As a part of his advocacy, Plastic Bug Art Caravan, he shares his talent as he travels around the country. He recently conducted the caravan in San Mateo Isabela at San Mateo National High School. He shared two techniques. One is kids technique. This technique uses plastic bags tapes, and bond paper. The idea of this technique is using plastic bags as substitute artwork material. Plastic bags provide color to a certain pattern. Second is fusing. It uses plastic bags, plywood, and flat iron. Colliding the plastic bags using flat iron 